Peru is known to have some of the most amazing food in the world. They often compete in culinary um, competitions, and they often place very highly in those competitions. They have this dish that every Peruvian loves. It's called ceviche, and it's a raw fish that they cut up, and they have it mixed with lime juice and onions and uh, some other herbs um, and seafood type uh, vegetables and seaweed, I guess, that they kind of mix up in there. And uh, you can smell it from a block away, and it just makes everybody's mouth water. They just know, oh, ceviche, I got to have that. Um, we weren't allowed to eat that as missionaries. Um, being uncooked fish, we just had to be safe. We, we weren't allowed to eat that unless it was um, ceviche de pollo, which was uh, chicken ceviche, because they had to cook the chicken first and then put it in the same uh, kind of broth and mixture that they would put the fish in. Um, it was pretty good. Uh, coming from a person who doesn't really like fish or onions, it was, it was pretty tasty. Um, but more often than not, your meals would be chicken and rice. Um, there was, uh, I had a transfer with one of my zone leaders and he was with me for a couple of days and we had, for dinner, we had yellow rice with chicken and then the next day for lunch we had green rice with chicken and then for dinner we had white rice with chicken. And uh, I mentioned to, to our pensionista, I was like, hey, how can we have the same meal every day? Not that it was bad, it tasted really wonderful. But she was like, oh, hell there. It's like, yesterday you had chicken with rice, and today you're having rice with chicken. <laughs> um, and she was very serious about it. Uh, there were two different dishes, uh, depending on the color of the rice um, and different seasonings that they used. But for the majority of the time, that's what you ate was chicken and rice. Uh, and a meal wasn't complete without the rice. Uh, they do have some key dishes that they're known for, which is papas a la huancaina, which is kind of an appetizer. It's uh, a boiled potato that they slice up and have a, a, a pepper sauce that they pour over it. It's called ají, and it's like their chili, uh, chili peppers, and they, they make a sauce out of that. It's really delicious. They also have one called arroz con pollo, not arroz con pollo, ají de gallina, and that is uh, the ají sauce with chicken, and they pour that over um, uh, French fries and rice mostly just rice, but sometimes I had a few plates where they did over the french fries, and it's, it's a very tasty meal. Um, they also have arroz chaufa, which is kind of like a, a stir-fry type fried rice. They have the rice, and they have a few vegetables. Sometimes they have uh, octopus cut up in it, or chicken, or, um, or other meats. Um, and that, that's also a great dish. My very favorite of all time is called um, bistec a lo pobre, and that was a pan-fried steak on top of french fries and fried bananas and a fried egg on top. It doesn't sound very healthy, but it was, it was a very good meal, and it was very filling, and it tasted amazing. They, it was very few and far between that you had it um, because beef was fairly uh, expensive, which is why chicken was always on the meal because it was so much cheaper. Um, but it was one of those meals that I looked forward to. Uh, having in my mission. They also have a drink. It's a national drink called um, chicha morada, which is a, a purple drink made out of purple corn with some pineapple and cinnamon and lime juice and a few other ingredients. Um, but it looks suspiciously like grape juice. And if you're expecting grape juice when you take a big swig of it on a hot day, uh, you're going to be poorly uh, surprised. Um, because you're expecting something sweet like grape juice, but it's really more of a, a spiced drink because of that cinnamon. Um, I had a friend try it once, and they said it tasted a lot like Christmas. And uh, that it's an amazing drink to have on a hot day. Nothing beats cold chicha morada. Um, it's it's one of their their staples. They have it with a lot of meals. Now for snacks, they there was a store pretty much every three doors on every street. Um, it wasn't too often, but uh, they had potato chips, they had some candies. One of my favorite treats they had was called choco soda, and it was a soda cracker dipped in chocolate, and it was one of those simple pleasures that uh, when you had a rough day, sometimes you just had to go get a choco soda, and it made everything better. <laughs> um, they also had ice cream, uh, a lot of the same ice creams that we, we have here in the States. Not necessarily the same 
providers, but it's the same flavors. Um, it all has a different texture to it just based on uh, the ingredients they have when they make it. They have an amazing fruit. I have amazing fruit all over Peru. There's so many different fruits. Um, but one of them is called, um, I forgot what it was called. <laughs> I'll remember it in just a minute. But their mangoes are amazing. Uh, they have uh, granadilla, which is um, a passion fruit, which are uh, phenomenal. And they have a fruit that kind of tastes like butterscotch. It looks a lot like, uh, like an avocado on the outside, but when you cut it open, the flesh inside is, is orange, has a big pit in the middle. Uh, and they, they don't ever eat the fruit, but they flavor ice creams with it. They flavor yogurt with it. Uh, they flavor cakes with it, and it's kind of like a butterscotch flavor. It's kind of weird, but coming from a fruit, but it is amazing.